Hi folks, this is Todd from Survival Sherpa and wanted to finally uh, get a review on, on something that a good friend of mine, Tammy Trayer and Glenn Trayer, um, sent me oh, a few months back and I'm finally getting around to doing that. What they've, what they've made, uh, that Glenn Trayer has made, is a multi-tool, it's a fire piston it's all aluminum very lightweight it's a fire piston but it also does more than that um, which I'll, I'll show you some of the other uh, uses that it has in a moment and again it's from uh, trayerwilderness.com and if you don't know uh, Tammy and uh, and their crew out in Idaho uh, I, I highly recommend that you that you follow them on their YouTube channel, their blog. They've got some great information. They're living off grid in the wilderness in, in um, Idaho. Um, I've been following them for about a year and a half now. Um, they're just they're just great people. Um, uh, which they're doing the stuff of self reliance every day because that's how they uh, that's how they have to live out there. So um, if you'll hang on for just a minute, I'm going to uh, get this set up and we'll give it a fire test. Um, and see if we can't get another ember. Um, got some char cloth here. So I'm just going to adjust this down so you can see what I'm doing. Out of my char tin, I'll just uh, take a little, little bit of char cloth out of here. Doesn't take much. And we're going to stick that. Really need to lubricate this. I'm just going to put a little, little bit of spit on that just to make sure we've got a good seal as this piston goes down into the shaft here. So we're just going to take a small amount of this char cloth, stick it down in here, and we're going to slam this home. have a glow. All right, fire is going. Now, I wanted to talk to you just a bit about this tool. Uh, it's more than just a fire piston. Um, there's, it comes with this attachment, which can be used as a uh, auger. For example, if you've got a auger that you wanted to bore a hole in something, then this fits on here you've got this handle goes through the hole there and then of course you, you can bore holes for uh, building furniture here at the camp or even log cabins so it's it's a pretty a pretty good idea that I I like a lot now this of course you have to have a auger with a bit that actually fits in there snugly or if not that aluminum wheel um, will will wallow out and strip your strip your shoulders off inside your socket. So, um, but anyway, this is this is another function of this tool, which it can be used to to uh, do do those kinds of tasks. Now it also comes with not the bit, the auger bit, but it comes with this metal tin can. Now I've got a few other uh, bits that I've been playing around with that you can also use. What it does come with is a is a card inside there with their information, Trail your wilderness. And it's also got a couple of extra O-rings for your piston, uh, for your shaft on your piston. And that, of course, uh, will be handy if you, as they wear out, you can slip one back on there. Now, this particular, these quarter inch bits can also be used in this by slipping them inside the inside the smaller end not the piston end but the smaller end uh, you can use Phillips heads uh, for any any kind of work if you had to work on your gun and you had a uh, you didn't have a multi-tool then you could use this uh, the multi flame tool you put if you have some bits put them in your pack uh, Phillips a straight head flat head 
this right here would be nice for taking off uh, uh, flathead screws out of a gun. Uh, you could also use it here. It just simply fits down in there. And you've got a screwdriver. Now if you wanted to, you could, if you needed to torque on it some, put that, put that on there and you can really get a little better bite with that. Now of course you could also use this leverage if you had to, to really torque down on something. Okay, if, you, if, there, if there was a screw uh, that, was, that was jammed and you couldn't get it loose on a gun or, or any other piece of equipment you're working on, uh, you can get more leverage by just using your, your, your piston handle. Now, that's the multi-flame multi tool from Trayer Wilderness. Um, if you had to, you could also use a quarter inch bit for a screw if you if you were doing some kind of uh, some kind of uh, uh, delicate tasks for if you needed a, a hole in a bone uh, or some other type uh, implement then well you've got a, if you've got this drill with you uh, this bit then you could you could actually use it to, to bore as well um, so anyway all in all I'm, I'm very pleased with it we've started a fire today with the multi-tool and um, oh, I forgot to mention this but it comes in this package here uh, the carrying case and inside it's got a little pouch here for the uh, for this piece the actual piston and the plunger for the piston also fits right down inside there um, now this Tin you could also use for uh, char material. Drill a hole in it, punch a hole in the top. You could you could char there. If not, just keep it whole. You've already got a char container. That's that all fits com, uh, compact right down in there. Now I'll take the auger and put it inside here um, and just close it up. And it's all self-contained. Doesn't weigh a lot, depending on how much. Uh, how many bits and other other things that you put in here it's all made in the united states um, so if you haven't checked out trail wilderness and all that they're doing um, they've also got other uh other pieces of kit and gear that you could that you could purchase on their on their website um, i will uh i will be back um, i'll put some information at the bottom of the video uh, with their information on how to contact them uh, and the prices on this tool. So anyway, uh, just want to say I'm very pleased with this tool so far. It's, gi it's given me an ember uh, pretty much every time I've tried it uh, with some char, char cloth inside. Um, so I'd say it's a, if you're into fire pistons, this would be the one I would recommend. Um, so anyway, thanks for, uh, th thanks for watching and all your support and keep doing stuff self-reliance. Okay, we've got the fire piston uh, from Trayer Wilderness, and I've got some chaga in there, and I'm hoping that you can see this. Tender fungus. So, um, this thing uh, works perfectly almost every time on on a uh, char cloth, uh, but I did want to give it a try on, <clears throat> excuse me, on on uh, chaga. And of course, I'm in Georgia, we don't have chaga down here, or at least I've never found it here in the woods. Um, so, while I was at the Pathfinder class uh, back at the beginning of this month in October, uh, a good friend of mine, Joel Bragg, gave me a, uh, or gifted me a little bit of chaga from Pennsylvania. So Joel, just wanted to give you a shout out and say thank you uh, for the for the chalk. I've already made tea from it, and I've also just used it to uh, create an ember. So thanks, Joel. Okay, um, a second use or another use of the um, multi flame tool is to clean your gun, your sidearm. All we do to do that is we screw off this knob 
from your plunger or the piston and inside the end where the outside, where the uh, male threads are there are female threads inside here it's been tapped and threaded so that the inside of that will accept a an adapter you can screw this on put a cloth patch through there if you wanted to clean it that way you could also screw on a brush uh, to the end of this this rod here and it will clean your sidearm so this is a nine millimeter <clears throat> so all you would do is is just simply take your your brush, uh, cloth, uh, oil patch, whatever, and you just clean that little barrel. Of course, that's not a very long barrel, but as you can see, you could you could clean a you could clean a a bore. <clears throat> well, I don't know, six inches, seven inches maybe. And all we're doing is we're just bringing it down. You can do the same with a. With the brush it also has uh, now these these attachments would come from your own uh, gun cleaning kit but if you have those and you can maybe throw a wire brush in there if you needed to clean your gun after uh, firing it you can do so with one of these there it is you can clean that out Alright, so anyway, it's just another function of the um, multi-flame tool.